If you are looking for the perfect video editing laptop, this video is for you. I will try my best to guide you to some of the best options available. Please feel free to make use of the chapters in this video to skip ahead to the section that interests you the most. This is Curated Tech, let's begin. Before going through the recommendations, we need to identify the requirements for a video editing laptop. First of all, it should have close to 100% support to the sRGB color space, especially if you are using only the laptop display, because the last thing you want is to do color correction on a mediocre display and end up ruining your project. Second, we need to make sure that the laptop has enough power to handle even our most demanding videos. A general rule of thumb is that it should at least have 16 GB or more RAM and a recent dedicated graphics card with at least 4 GB of VRAM. These requirements does not apply to the newer Apple MacBooks with ARM processors and we'll be covering them soon in this video. One more thing that could influence your purchase decision is the video editing software that you use. Three of the main ones are Adobe Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro and DaVinci Resolve. Notably, only Resolve has a free version with minor limitations. While both Premiere Pro and Resolve are cross-platform, Final Cut Pro is a Mac-only software developed by Apple. So, if you are a Final Cut Pro user, you basically have the MacBooks as the only option. Now that we have that out of the way, we can move on to the recommendations. First, I'll be going over buying a MacBook for video editing, followed by the top Windows laptop recommendations. For those who prefer going that route, make sure to stay till the end of the video as I'll be showing you guys ways to get additional discounts and cashbacks for your purchase. So, you've decided to go with the Apple route. Apple MacBooks have been considered as expensive by many as even more powerful Windows laptops were available for a cheaper price. But all that changed when Apple introduced their custom M1 chips powered Macs. And now, with the arrival of even more powerful M1 Pro and M1 Max chips, they are dominating the industry right now. I would go as far as to say that Apple has the best video editing laptop lineup for most people. One of the key advantages of MacBooks powered by their M1 series chips is that they provide exact same performance on battery and while plugged in. And with the exceptional battery life they have makes them truly a portable workstation. Almost all the powerful Windows laptop needs to be connected to a power source to get the best performance. The base model MacBook Air is all you need if you want to work with multiple streams of 4K videos and they can also provide you with some room for growth if your video editing needs are expanded in the future. And if you are just starting out and want to minimize the cost, you can use the free version of DaVinci Resolve Video Editor which is very optimized for the M1 chip and can match the performance of Apple's very own Final Cut Pro in some cases. All this comes under $1000 makes it a stellar deal. I have seen these go as low as $849 which is a steal in my opinion. Make sure to check the link in the description for the most up to date pricing. Let's say you want even more power than this machine can offer. You can check the new MacBook Pro 14 and 16 which are truly designed for the pros. They can be equipped with a 10 core CPU, 32 core GPU and a 64 GB unified RAM. And they come with dedicated ProRes encoders and decoders which will have a large impact if your workflow includes ProRes media. They have been updated with a new mini LED Liquid Retina XDR display with 120Hz ProMotion. You simply have to experience them to know how good they are. I recommend checking one out from an Apple store nearby. One thing to note is that they start at twice the price of the M1 MacBook Air and you should only consider them if you know that you will be needing that much power. And if you decided to go for them, I recommend buying the base model MacBook Pro 14 as it is the most value for money offering in that lineup and is powerful enough to work on 8K videos. When it comes to gaming, that's where the Macs fall behind. There are not much titles available and some needs workarounds to be playable. So if you are someone who will also like to game on your spare time, you might want to look at some Windows alternatives. The laptop industry have made significant jump over the past two years with both CPU and GPU manufacturers making substantial improvement in their products. It is now easier to find thinner laptops packing a lot of punch. Let's check out some of the best options in the Windows sector. Dell XPS 15 The Dell XPS 15 is a beautiful and powerful machine which many content creators hold dear. It can be equipped with a 6-core or 8-core 11th gen Edge series processor from Intel. 
the new NVIDIA RTX 3050 Ti graphics card with 4GB of VRAM and up to 64GB of DDR4 memory. They have one of the best displays on a Windows laptop with thinner bezels. The base model has a FHD plus resolution and can be upgraded to a UHD plus display both with 500 nits of brightness and in a 16 by 10 aspect ratio which is ideal for productivity. These displays cover more than 100% of the sRGB color space making it a perfect fit for content creators. They have three USB-C ports including two Thunderbolt 4 ports and a full-size SD card reader which makes one less dongle to carry. You can also check out the XPS 17 which has a bigger screen and better thermal management. These devices often go on sale on Dell's website and sometimes on Amazon. So make sure to check the links in the description. Razer Blade 15 Apart from the XPS line, Razer Blade laptops are the best looking Windows laptops available on the market. These are among the best options if you value gaming and video editing equally as they can be paired with an Intel 11th Gen 8-core CPU and obtain NVIDIA RTX 3080 graphics card and an 165 or 240Hz Quad HD display or up to a 360Hz Full HD display. These displays are 100% sRGB and comes factory calibrated. Another model that you can check out from Razer's lineup is the Razer Blade 14 with AMD 5000 series CPUs if you prefer a smaller size of that machine. Lenovo Legion 5 Pro Lenovo has some decent offerings in their lineup this year, especially with the Legion 5 Pro. They offer up to an 8-core Ryzen 5000 series processor, an NVIDIA RTX 3070 graphics card, and up to 32GB of DDR4 memory. It can be equipped with a 16-inch QHD plus 165Hz display with 100% sRGB coverage and G-Sync support, which you would appreciate if you are a gamer. You can bring down the listed price significantly by various offers from Lenovo, which happens more often than you think. I'll be showing you how to get high discounts and cashbacks from Lenovo and other websites in the final part of this video. Asus Zephyrus G14 Asus G14 was a massive hit when it was launched in 2020. Now it has been updated with the newer Ryzen 5000 series CPUs and up to an RTX 3060 graphics card, making it a good option for portability and power. I would recommend this machine as it comes with an WQHD 120Hz display with 100% sRGB coverage and Pandon validation. You can get a decently specced version of this on Amazon with 8-core Ryzen 5800HS CPU with 16GB of RAM and an RTX 3050 Ti graphics card for just $16.99, which is an excellent deal in my opinion. If you could not find a better deal while going through the Amazon links given below, you can use a service called Rakuten to help you get some discounts and cashbacks. By clicking the link in the description, you will get 30 cash bonus from Rakuten and it would help me and the channel. This will enable you to get promo codes which can be used on various websites and you can also get a lot in cashbacks for your purchase. Keep an eye on Rakuten page to see new offers. You can also use this service to get discounts and cashbacks from a large number of other online stores as well. I was able to buy a laptop from a Lenovo listed at $1800 for just over $1100 using this method with 12% cashback from Rakuten. And if you are able to find a better promo codes from other places, you can still get the cashback from Rakuten, so do not miss out on this. If you found this video valuable, please hit like and subscribe for more tech videos and feel free to drop your suggestions and feedbacks in the comment section. Thank you and have a good day.